Muhammad Aziz and Khalil Islam always maintained their innocence in the 1965 assassination of Malcolm X. Now, after 55 years, their convictions will be vacated after a two-year investigation led by the Manhattan District Attorney found prosecutors, the FBI, and police withheld critical information that should have cleared their names. I do believe there will be attempts on my life. They're foaming at the mouth. The decision comes after this six-part Netflix series called who killed Malcolm X raised new questions about Malcolm's assassination. He was killed in a barrage of bullets while speaking at the Audubon Ballroom in Harlem. The DA's office reopened the case to look at the men's convictions after the series was released. Two of them weren't even in the Audubon Ballroom that day. We sat down with Phil Bertelson and Nyla Sims who produced the documentary. The FBI had eyewitness testimony from presumably the nine informants that were in the room that day about who did the crime. A third man, Talmadge Hayer, confessed to the killing, but Islam and Aziz never did. Islam died in 2009. Aziz is now 83. He spent 20 years in prison. If I wanted to do it, I couldn't have done it. So that means they knew what they were doing when they put me in jail. 